In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a three-dimensional colourful rainbow design. Well, basically a zoom rainbow design. Now, just going to, first thing is to, this is in Photoshop uh, CS6, first thing to do is to create a new layer. So I'm just going to go to Photoshop, new layer, I want to add it onto a layer because I want to create a three-dimensional effect on a layer. So. Uh, Next step, go to the brush. Okay. I've just selected the basic brush. I'm just going to go just for one of the uh, standard soft round I've chosen. But it could be any of the other brushes. Now, the easiest way to apply a sort of colourful rainbow effect is to bring up swatches. I mean, you could change the colour via the uh, toolbox, but uh, just as easy just to go to swatches. So I'm just going to click a swatch colour. Okay. This is going to be applied to the layer, so I'm just going to apply a different set of colours in a circle. A few seconds. That. Go for the blue. Purple. A pink. Of course, all the colours, well-known colours of the rainbow, so oranges and browns. Picking a selection of different colours. Red. And light. Right, now I've got that. I've got, I've got a circular brush design now. I'm actually, it's on a layer, so I'm going to go to the 3D. New 3D extrusion from selected layer. Wait a few seconds as it creates the new layer. And you will now see design there. It's a 3D design. Now to create a far more dramatic zoom effect, just select the front face of those, and the front face is there, and you will see the properties dialog appear. Now you can change the extrusion depth, it's going to reduce it down a bit, but you could increase it, zoom out, and next step and the key thing, deform. That's the second palette. And you can now apply a twist. You can actually twist. So you can actually have the design curl around on itself, all the coloured designs. And also design taper and zoom out. That. Again, another twist, I can just twist that around, very, very dramatic effects, and horizontal angle. So I'm actually going to rotate this, it's a bit sluggish, but it uh, should create quite dramatic effects. So you twist and turn. Now there are also presets, so if you, can, if you don't, you can't be bothered just to quickly do that, you can actually just Click on one of the presets, it will create a preset there and then. But it's a quick and easy way, so you can use basically use the brushes on layers and use them to create 3D effects in Photoshop CS3, 3D6, CS6.